911, what's the location of your emergency? I am right on the Ship Creek Trail. There are two people lying down on the um, path, and I think they're dead. Oh, the guy is definitely dead. And a girl has a bunch of blood streaming out of her. In the summer of 2016, the city of Anchorage, Alaska was gripped with a fear as a serial killer was on the loose. Over the span of just two months, five people were brutally gunned down with the same murder weapon. The police were struggling to solve these heinous crimes and catch the culprit responsible. Little did they know, the man they were searching for had an accidental run-in with officers that would ultimately lead to his demise and solve the case. Welcome back to Crime Chronicles Unearthed. Let's dive into the disturbing story of serial killer James Dale Ritchie and how he was caught almost by accident. James was born in 1976 in Anchorage. He grew up in the Wonder Park neighborhood and showed early promise as an athlete in high school. Standing tall at six foot three, James excelled at football and basketball. He was part of state championship teams and had a bright future ahead playing sports in college. After graduating in 1994, James earned a scholarship to play football at prestigious West Virginia University. However, things were about to take a dark turn for James. Within his first semester in college, James dropped out and returned to Alaska. Back home, he fell in with the wrong crowds and began dealing drugs. He also started participating in illegal dogfighting rings. By 1995, James had fully embraced a life of crime under his new street name, Tiny. Over the next decade, he racked up numerous arrests for drug and theft offenses. His most serious crime came in 2005 when he attempted a home invasion while armed with two handguns. James was sentenced to two years in prison for this brazen act. After being released in 2007, James resided in Alaska for some time. During his period, he acquired an unusual murder weapon, a Colt Python 357 revolver manufactured way back in 1971. Handguns from that era are no longer commonly produced. The Colt Python would go on to play a pivotal role in James's future killing spree. In 2013, James made the decision to leave Alaska and start over. He lent the Colt Python to an acquaintance and moved to Broadway, Virginia, where his parents lived. For three years in Virginia, James seemed to be keeping his nose clean. He had no criminal incidents or issues with law enforcement. But seemingly, out of the blue, James's life was about to take another sharp turn for the worse back in his home state. In March 2016, James returned to Alaska after breaking up with his girlfriend. He reconnected with the acquaintance in Virginia and claimed the Colt Python handgun. James then settled in Anchorage's Airport Heights neighborhood. Around this time, he also sought treatment for unspecified mental health issues. Little did residents know a ticking time bomb had entered their community and was ready to explode with unspeakable violence. The first victims fell on July 3, 2016. The bodies of 20-year-old Brianna Foise and 41-year-old Jason Netter Sr. were discovered together along a bike path near downtown Anchorage. Both had been shot multiple times with the Colt Python in the early morning hours. The Anchorage Police Department, APD, immediately launched a homicide investigation but had no leads. Surveillance footage of potential suspects was released with no breakthroughs. Just over three weeks later on July 29th, 21-year-old Travion Kindle Thompson was riding his bike home from work around midnight. As he rode along a quiet residential street, someone opened fire on him from the woods. Multiple gunshot wounds left Thompson dead at the scene. Witnesses described seeing a man grab Thompson's abandoned bike and ride off. A composite sketch of the suspect was created based on their descriptions. Ballistics confirmed this killing was also committed with James's Colt Python revolver. The people of Anchorage were now gripped with terror. A serial killer was on the loose in their city and the number of victims was growing. The APD and FBI joined forces to solve the case before anyone else lost their life. 
they knew the same gun was being used in multiple attacks over a month period, so it had to be the work of one depraved individual. Yet no real leads panned out from their extensive investigations and interviews. Then, on August 28th, the killer struck again in broad daylight. The bodies of 34-year-old Kevin Turner and 25-year-old Bree D. Hudson were found shot to death in a popular city park. It was the same M.O. as the previous murders, both victims slain by the now infamous Colt Python. Residents were warned to avoid isolated areas and travel in groups after dark. Still, the killer remained invisible to authorities desperately searching for him. But James Dale Ritchie's killing spree came to an abrupt end in the early morning hours of November 12, 2016. Officer Arne Saleo was patrolling downtown Anchorage around 4.30 a.m. responding to an unrelated call. As he drove down Fifth Avenue, he noticed James walking on the street. Officer Saleo pulled up next to James and asked him to stop, likely wanting to ask if he witnessed a previous crime. However, James ignored the officer and continued walking. Officer Saleo then used his loudspeaker to repeat the request. Without any warning, James suddenly turned around, walked right up to the patrol car, and opened fire on Officer Saleo with his Colt Python revolver. He shot the officer multiple times at close range, hitting him in the bones, intestines, and liver. Badly wounded, Officer Saleo managed to get out of the vehicle and return fire while fighting physically with James. Nearby, Sergeant Mark Patsy from the K-9 unit witnessed the attack unfolding. He also fired upon James. During the gun battle, James Dale Ritchie suffered fatal gunshot wounds and was pronounced dead at the scene. Meanwhile, the seriously injured Officer Saleo was rushed by ambulance to a local hospital. He required emergency surgery for seven hours to treat his life-threatening injuries. Thankfully, Officer Saleo was later moved out of intensive care and was expected to survive. But his brave actions that morning would help solve several murders. Ballistics definitively confirmed the murders of Foise, Netter, Thompson, Turner, and D. Husson were finally solved and committed by the now-deceased James Dale Ritchie. In the aftermath, the APD and FBI pieced together James's troubled background and what brought him back to Alaska to unleash his killing spree. While he had no criminal incidents in the three years residing in Virginia, James returned to Anchorage in early 2016 after a breakup. Then, within five months, he coldly gunned down five innocent people in the city he once called home. His methods were brutal yet calculated always attacking alone under the cover of darkness. The story of how James Dale Ritchie was accidentally stopped by Officer Saleo during a routine call shocked the nation. After over two months of fear gripping Anchorage as a serial killer roamed free, the case was cracked, almost by coincidence. While justice had been served for the victims and their families, it was a bittersweet end. Officer Saleo survived but continued recovering from his injuries. And the city was left to process how one deranged man brought so much suffering during his brief but murderous spree. While the Anchorage police wrapped up their investigation by confirming all murders were solely committed by James, questions remained about his motive and mental state. Witness accounts suggested that he may have specifically targeted victim Travion Kindle Thompson, the son of someone he knew in high school. But the other four victims all seemed to be random acts of opportunity. Without James alive to be interrogated, his full reasons for the killings may never emerge. Ultimately, James Dale Ritchie followed a tragic descent from promising high school athlete to disturbed serial killer over the course of two decades. His random violence shocked Anchorage during the summer of 2016, but was cut short due to pure luck rather than methodical police work. While closure was achieved, the pain of loss remains for all those impacted by James's murderous victims. His accidental capture shows how even the most calculating of criminals can be undone by fate at any moment. The Anchorage community continues healing after their brush with one of Alaska's most sinister serial killers. There you have it, the disturbing story of serial killer James Dale Ritchie and how his murderous rampage in Anchorage came to a sudden end by fatefully crossing paths with Officer Saleo.
If you found this case as fascinating as I did, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe to Crime Chronicles Unearthed for more true crime tales of mystery.